Hello everyone, I had a uh, subscriber ask me a question, and no question is ever too simple, so don't worry about asking it. Um, he, I think, has perhaps shot some 4.3 video that he didn't realize he did with his GoPro Hero 3 or Hero 4, and he wants it to look 16.9. And so what I did, I went and shot some, um, some video with my GoPro in 14.40 mode, which is, uh, I think when I got my Hero 3, that's how it defaulted. I think when it came from the factory that way. So I've just shot a little bit of video of some guitars hanging on the wall, just to use an example. This is 4.3 video. Uh, if I open that up and we look at it, there are my guitars hanging on the wall in 4.3. We can see it's, it's, it's not uh, big, wide, 16. 16.9 would be, you know, real wide, right? It comes out here to the edge. That's what we're used to seeing most of the time now. 4.3 video is more... Um, it is more that you know square type video that we used to see on the old televisions and all. So what my friend I think would like is he'd like to be able to see this in 16.9, which is what he's more accustomed to seeing now on modern televisions. I still shoot once in a while in this mode, uh, just just to, you know in case I want to get some pixels I think are maybe on the bottom or top that I might not be ordinarily getting with my GoPro. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you how to make this look 16.9, which is that narrower piece of video without these pixels on the bottom and top. And it's so simple. You're just going to you go here, you're going to right-click, and you're going to say New Sequence. And you're going to pick one. I've been in here with some red video, but I'm going to go, I'm going to, go to um, I'm usually going to go to just AVC HD. It's where I get a lot of mine. I'm going to go to 1080p. And I'm just going to pick something like 1080p 30. And I know that this is a, see here, 16.9 progressive scan. So this is a, a progressive scan, 30 frame per second, which I shot this at 29.97. See that right here? And you go to your 29.97 is 30p. So I've picked one uh, that I know is going to be the size I want, 1920 by 1080, horizontal by vertical, right here you see. So I'm going to say OK. Now, I'm going to pull this video, which is not that size, into it. You can see it's 1920 by 1440. See that black gray box that opened up underneath? So that it's not 1080 tall, it's 1440 tall. But I'm going to pull it down here onto this. Let me, let me do this. Let me put an end point here before I do that. Now, I'm going to pull it down. And now it's going to say, uh, do I want to change the sequence settings? Which, if I do that, it will turn it into a 1440p sequence rather than 1080. I'm going to say, no, keep existing settings. And now look what I have. I have 16.9 here. Now, you know, what's kind of the advantage to shooting this way? Well, there are pixels. You know, let's say I framed this up too, uh, too high. I want to show more of the bodies of these guitars. The thing that's kind of cool about shooting this way is you can click on the video, and go to effects controls, go to motion, this little motion twirl thing here, a little, little triangle. And then you can, you know, you can scale this video. You don't want to scale it though. It's actually the right width. It's just not the, you know, the height. You can actually move, actually move this around, this up and down, because you got pixels on the top and bottom, right? So if I wanted to, if I, if, if instead of having it framed up the way it originally was, all I'm doing is I'm hovering over this, this right here, this number. This one's the left and right. You only leave that alone because see, you got black on either side of that. So I'm going to go back to whatever it was. Was it? Uh, 960. But let's say I do want to show the bottom of these guitars more. Then there you go. I've reframed this whole piece of video where it shows the bottom. And I get here to this to this to this point, and I go back over the top. So I'm going to cut this. I'm going to do a, a, a C a C key. I'm cut, doing the C. That turns my cursor into a razor blade. And I'm going to go up here where I start going back this way. And now it's more about, I kind of like rather have this on the top. I'm looking at these little Fender emblems and stuff. So I'm going to get rid of this piece. I'm going to hit the V key. V is in Victor. Turns it back into a pointer. I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to right click in here, which is ripple delete. So now I got rid of that piece of video. Maybe I want to go a little bit farther. I'm going to zoom in here by pulling that over and pull that back some more. Ripple delete again. And now I want my video to be more of where these are centered in the top. So now I'll click on this and I'll go back up here again and I'll pull this down a little, right? So now I've reframed this 1440 video and I've made it 16.9. And now it shows the bits of the guitars that I want to see. And so there you go. So you can see kind of right quick that there is an advantage to doing uh, 
you know, to doing it in 1440p if you think you want to reframe heights. And so, but that's how you do it. So you've taken 4.3 video and you've turned it into 16.9. To export this video, you make sure you click on this window and you have the blue around this. You say File, uh, Export. I got a dog, I got a vagar vape me right now. Export Media. And you want to make sure that you pick like uh, H.264, something like that. And you can say match a source. It's going to do 1920 by 1080, which will be 16.9. It might actually say that somewhere on here. I don't see it saying 16.9. My dog is wanting to get on my lap. I'm going to go ahead and render it maximum bit depth. I like doing that. And I like uh, maximum quality. And this piece of video it only needs to probably be maybe, I don't know, 12 to 16. And then I would pick where I want it to go. And then I would say save. And then I would export it. <clears throat> Nico, what is wrong, puppy? And so now it's all rendered out and we're ready to go. And if I uh, actually take a look at this video, now I should have my 4.3 video. Let's take a look at that. There it is. No, excuse me, 4.3, it's 16.9. Come here, pug. My pug wants in my lap. Oh, God. And she really doesn't. Okay. Now we come back that way. And again, we are 16.9 from 4.3 high definition video.